Good morning. More of a preview than a review preview. Very little to doing yesterday. But at least today we've got some smattering of international football. Asian World Championship throughout the day. Early start. Usual suspects. Australia, Japan, South Korea. Very strong favourites with their, uh, well, at least Australia and uh, South Korea with their uh, Premier League interests. It should be, or we should get a tradable opportunity today. We've got all odds on favourites at home. So uh, I look forward to that throughout the day. Nations League, of course, is the key. Group A, Denmark against Switzerland, 2.38 the favourite. So just doing it by the odds. That one doesn't appeal. Neither does Scotland-Poland, which is giving Scotland a chance. Probably because despite having Robert Lewandowski in sparkling form for Barcelona, they just don't seem to do it on the international stage, the Poles. Serbia and Spain can be more competitive than 1.48 suggests, as indeed should the pork and cheese against Croatia. Azerbaijan, Swindon, Sweden, 1.55, Bulgaria odds on, Slovakia odds on, and Northern Ireland, Luxembourg is, uh, well, both teams are given a chance. San Marino, Liechtenstein, of course, is a match we've all been waiting for. This is the reason I couldn't sleep last night, waiting for this monster clash between the Giants, San Marino and Liechtenstein. We've got the under-21s today as well. It's competitive, so that's a positive for us. And again, all bar one of the odds-on favourites are at home today. 1.01, you can flex your correct score win to nil muscles. What do you fancy today? 4, 6, 8 nil? Or 5 nil, 7 nil, 9 nil? What do you fancy? Lots and lots of... Strong odds on favourites. This is good for traders. The inference is it's one-way traffic. So if, if in any way Latvia, Malta, San Marino, Faroes, Moldova or Macedonia score first, we've already got ourselves a possible angle. Have to use in-play stats today, particularly for this because there's no FIFA world rankings. That's the advantage we have with the main internationals. You can get a gauge from the world rankings. So, for example, Denmark, Switzerland, on the face of it, 2.38, the favourites, very tough to call. But if you look at the FIFA rankings, hopefully, you can have a look at where Denmark and Sweden marry up. So, UEFA. Oh, control and F. Denmark. No. Nope. I have to show the full rankings. Here. Denmark, 21st. Sweden, 29th. So that doesn't give much away either. 21st against 29th, 2.38 the favourite. So you get the idea there. If there's some of these matches, for example, Belarus and Bulgaria, I don't know how they will weigh up against each other. 99th against the old uncle, Bulgaria, and 82nd. So those two in the wrong end of the rankings could be very unreliable. So that's the advantage that the rankings have over the under-21s. They don't have FIFA World Rankings, which is a pity. So we've got no real gauge. Asian World Cup qualifiers. <clears throat> Sri Lanka, Cambodia, East Timor, Mongolia. I don't think you'll be too interested in that today. I think there's a few more qualifiers from Asia. I'm not too sure. Mixed up. No cup football today. So, yes, the Asian qualifiers are a bit earlier, aren't they? Uh, the main sides to look out for, South Korea, Japan and Australia, rather obvious. Uh, Iran tend to be very good at this, at this level as well. So that's it.
really today. But I will be up and about for you throughout the day. At least we've got uh, a bigger set of fixtures to work off, which could yield us a profitable trade or two. You can have a look at the tennis as well. US Open, the last Grand Slam of the summer, well worthy of your attention. Don't forget you can retrospectively trade as well, so take advantage of that. What would I have done in this case? So yesterday, well, I would have been tempted in, I think, to have laid Jack Draper against Dimonor. This is a big scalp for Jack Draper. His old Hitler haircut is pretty handy. And he's quite highly ranked as well. There he is, old Hitler haircut, 10th in the world rankings. This is a very big scalp, considering he didn't drop a set. I think I'd have been tempted in, and it would have been a losing play for me. Francis Tiafo, I suppose, well, with Grigor Dimitrov retiring, regardless of that, I think if Grigor was 2-1 two, two, one up, I would have laid Grigor because Tiafo is an American in the US Open. So he'll be absolutely delighted to go this deep into the competition. And that's it today. I'll be around for you from probably midday onwards for the Asian qualifiers or 11 o'clock. And then for the later on kickoff. So I'm actually going to enjoy a round of golf today with the football just taking a back seat, so that's very nice. A couple of weeks without the usual hectic schedule, but I'm up and about tonight for what could be a busy day. Just got to exercise patience, use the in-play stats. Let's see if the market has got these odds on favourites. As you can see, nearly all of them at home in the World Championship qualifiers in Asia. Have a great day. See you, members, on Telegram throughout the day.